So this is Jules's 12 month, one year update. Who's gonna pull a one? All right, let's get right to the board. I'll hold it, baby, you wanna read it? So she is loving food, as always. Feeding Dixie. When she's had enough and she decided like, you know, I'm not gonna eat anymore. She takes her food from point A on her tray and tosses it to point B. Anywhere, okay, Dixie's mouth. Yeah, anywhere where Dixie is, Dixie doesn't even have to be there, then she's there. So we're gonna have her say bye, because I don't really know if she's gonna do any of this vlog. We'll give her a Nemo. Let's see, maybe she'll want her bottle. Do you want your bottle? Oh, okay. And we're good. On to the board. So she also loves laughing loves chuckling away she doesn't like wiping her nose aka an adult wiping her nose can't stand it she hits you she does not like cold milk now that she's done with the baby present and formula so like we give her organic whole milk and we're having to like either warm it up in the microwave run the bottle under hot water and then she's happy so and she removes all her socks constantly. Hate socks, hate shoes. Put her in the car seat with them on. By the time you get some down the road, they're already off. Her favorite song is Stick Together, which is actually the theme song on most vlogs for Katie and Cullen, which is pretty funny. She goes bananas. Oh, now she's waving at you guys. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi to your friends. Her favorite bedtime story is whatever I can chew still. It's been like that for three months or so. She has this book with like furry animals and the spine is just ruined because she just chewed it and gnawed it all up. But she has 12 teeth now. Yeah. Found two 12. more the other night. We don't have her height here, but I think she's about 29 inches. About 29 and a quarter. Somewhere up in that area. And she's 19 pounds, 11 ounces. So our little peanut is still not 20 pounds. She's, she's still a little peanut. So the funny thing is she's actually still fitting in some like nine month clothes. A lot of them are actually still nine months. I think she's officially done with six month clothing. Jen still tries, but it just doesn't work. All right, let's go hand her off. Okay, sorry about that y'all. She is now back with her Mima. So um, yeah, she has 12 teeth, including some molars. She's been teething really bad lately. Like some uncontrollable crying fits. The past few nights, just for 20 minutes, 40 minutes, just nonstop. Um, try Advil. We heard from a friend that got to try Tylenol. That works a little bit for teething, according to her. So I think we're gonna pick more. I think we're out of that, so we gotta grab some of that. Yeah. Sometime this week. But I mean, overall, she's doing so good, as we have always said. She is doing really well in school. Now and then, like last week when we went back after being off, like it was basically like all of Wednesday because we left with the stomach bug. Then it was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, so she cried a few days dropping off, but then she was fine. So, uh, some other things she still is not walking yet. Um, it's almost like she kind of gave up. Actually, earlier today, she took like two and a half steps to me. Um, but she still, she'll grab onto the couches or play thing and just go all over the place. And she'll hesitate and try to walk, but it doesn't really get too far. Yeah. Um, but I was a 15 month walker and you don't know what you were. Hey mom. What? When did I start walking? Oh, uh, I think you were about 13 months. So about 13 months for me. Well, how old, how old were you? 15. Slacker. Yeah, you know. Um, what else was there? Um, big news is we got her her big girl car seat. Um, we got the Diono Radeon RXT, I think it's called. We got the same in each car. Um, she's definitely doing better in them than her other car seat. I don't think she's not really fighting it. No, nah, not at all. She goes in. It. She's still she's tiny in it, but the car seat is massive. 
It can go up to 10 years old. So it's like really big. 120 pounds of fat. It's ridiculous. Sleeping, more or less the same. She's woke up a few times around like 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Last night she woke up at 4.30. I put the nook back in. The next thing I know, his alarm went off at 7.15. Yeah. So, but I mean, she's also sleeping without the nook more frequently. Like, we'll go up there after she's asleep and the nook is out of her mouth. She spits it out. I think because she has trouble breathing. She's still congested at night, so she struggles with that. Um, yeah, so the clothing, she's mostly 12 month clothing now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, six months ago, then she still tries yeah, a few we, onesies here we and there. We went over this. I don't know why he brought that back up. I'm trying to think of things a little No, we're, we're moving on. What else is there then? Um, I mentioned the baby bread and formula. She is strictly on, like, actual human, human adult, adult milk. No more formula. So, probably within the next few weeks, we'll completely phase out bottles. But with her struggling lately with the whole teething thing, it's not a battle I feel like we need to have like no more bottles right at 12 months. So if it takes us a little bit longer, it takes us a little bit longer. And I'm also going to really try when she's with us to start really limiting the nook pacifier, whatever you call it. I definitely don't want her to have nook mouth. What's nook mouth? It's when they literally have the pacifier in so much it can affect their teeth and the shape of their actual insides. Did not know that. Yeah. Learn something new every day. So at school, when she gets in, she gives them the nook. She goes almost all day without it, and the only time she gets it is at nap. So there's no reason why we should be giving her the nook constantly. I'm trying. Not just me. But yeah, the first year completely flew. Oh wait, her haircut. Yeah. So she got her first haircut. What, last week? Last Friday. Her bangs. She cut her bangs because it was always in her eyes. She was starting to, she's going through the phase where she pulled everything out of her hair. Ponytails, clips, all sorts of stuff. She's getting more into her toys now. I would say the past, past few weeks. Especially with her birthday, she got a bunch of new stuff. And I'm sure you can probably hear in the background. Um, she loves it. She loves her little toy kitchen that she got. She's always standing up. She pretends to wash her hands in it. Which is pretty hysterical. Yeah, like my mom said, she brought her back to our house yesterday because we had his therapy. And my mom said when they entered our house and she saw all of her toys, she like got all excited. That's pretty much about it. We want to thank you for taking our first year journey with us. If you watched a lot of the vlogs or just the updates, whatnot, thank you very much. Still, I'm still gonna do kind of like a one year recap montage type vlog soon once i get some time um our next monthly update are we gonna do the 18 month one yeah i guess we'll do a year and a half that should be a big update and we'll do one or two and that's pretty much gonna be it for the for the updates for that um but yeah let's wrap things up i uh, hope you enjoyed the video give David. us a thumbs up if you did share a smile leave a comment down below say hi to jewels and we'll see you in our daily vlogs bye you and i till the end